Okay, well, thanks very much, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so as Joan said, I'm Steve Wax. I'm at EMD Serono, and I'm, I'm based in, in Boston. And uh, I'll tell you today about our drug that's, uh, um, uh, that's under study for lupus called the Tagicept, and uh, tell you about why the company really has a lot of optimism uh, about this drug. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so a bit about me, I'm a rheumatologist by training, and so I always say that, um, that I'm among the many, really, who have been looking to beat lupus for a long time now. So this is our company's uh, mandated legal disclaimer, saying that uh, this presentation is really just for scientific information exchange. We're not trying to promote any claims of safety or efficacy for a drug that's not approved. And um, maybe we're a little bit ahead of the game, but I think probably the other companies will <laughs> mandate this uh, legal disclaimer soon also. So having said that, uh, so this is the current state of the Attacusep program for lupus. There is one study that's called April SLE, and that is an ongoing study. It's a phase two slash three study, and, and it's under agreement with the FDA as being a study that can count, among others, towards approval of, of the drug. It's a, it's a global study, and about 500 patients are expected to be enrolled. It has a prevention of flare design, so, <clears throat> so it's a little bit uh, different from some of the other studies that you've heard about, but similar to the, the maintenance phase of the OMS study that you just heard about, in that in this study, we take patients who at the start have very low disease activity, and then what we're looking to show is that the Attacusept prevents the worsening of the disease over the course of a year. And then the second point is that further plans for the development are currently being finalized um, right now. So the good news is that the company is enthusiastic about the drug and optimistic about its potential benefit for patients and will go forward with the program. But the bad news at the current moment is that I can't tell you the details of the specifics for the um, trials because the final decisions are being made. But I can tell you that as a complement to the April SLE study, these studies will look at reducing disease activity. So patients will come in with active disease and then we'll be looking to show that the drug reduces the disease activity. And that'll complement the, the April SLE study where patients come in with low activity and we look to demonstrate that we prevent the worsening of the disease. So I'd like to take a few minutes to dive into, um, into the science behind it and explain why um, we are enthusiastic about it. Um, <clears throat> so in order to design a drug, you need to know some of the major players in the body that are important for driving the disease. And as you probably know, SLE is characterized by autoantibodies. So antibodies which a part of the immune system, and normally they attack foreign matter like viruses or bacteria, but autoantibodies attack one's own tissues, and in lupus can, can drive disease activity. So this figure shows some of the major players towards the production of these autoantibodies. So on the left, you see the, um, these autoreactive B cells. B cells, one of the components of the immune system, they're autoreactive because they bind to one's own tissues and molecules. Then they interact with this T cell, and they're stimulated to grow and become plasma cells. And the plasma cells are what produce most of the antibodies in us and the autoantibodies in a lupus patient. So one strategy for a therapy for lupus is to give a drug which will lower the amount of B cells, plasma cells, and antibodies. And I'd like to explain why we think um, Atagicept will be a good candidate for that. So this is the system that, um, that Atagicept would be um, thought to be involved in. So Bliss and April are two factors in the body that are, um, that are important for the B cells to um, grow and become plasma cells, which then produce these antibodies and autoantibodies. And the bliss and April come in three forms. Um, and as, as Bill Freiman said, they're trimers, so they're complexes of three molecules. So there's the bliss trimer, there's an April trimer, and there's a bliss April heterotrimer. 
So there's bliss, April, and the bliss, April, heterotimer. And these bind to specific receptors on the B cell. And so our company, in collaboration with Zymo Genetics, which is nearby in Seattle, wanted to block this system. And so they designed a therapy which is based on this tacky receptor because, as you can see from the, from the, the arrows in the figure, this tacky receptor binds to all three of these molecules. So a tacky sept is what's called a recombinant fusion protein. It recombines parts of two proteins and fuses them into one protein. So one part is shown in green, and it's the part of the tacky receptor that can bind all three of those molecules, bliss, April, and the bliss, April heterotimer. And it's fused to what's shown in blue, which is part of normal antibodies, and this part is just there to add stability to the drug so that when you give it to a patient, it lasts longer in the, in the patient. So now if we go back to this system, um, so a, when you give it to a patient, a tachycept is thought to block bliss and April. So the, here's the system, and then when you, you give the tachycept, so it blocks bliss, and then it also blocks, is thought to block the bliss April heterotrimer and the April trimer. And so this blockade, we have felt, <coughs> sorry, um, will lead to reductions of B cells, plasma cells, and autoantibodies, and will ultimately be translated into uh, a real meaningful benefit for patients. Now, we have some data about the um, biologic effects of the drug in terms of these B cells, plasma cells, and antibodies, and it will be presented in a poster here at this meeting, and the poster is titled Tachycept reduces immunoglobulin, which are antibodies, and B cell levels in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. And the poster is Saturday at 11.30. So um, we did two uh, phase two studies in rheumatoid arthritis patients, which is another autoimmune disease. And we had several hundred patients which were exposed to the tachycept. And then we looked at what happened over the course of six months to their B cells, plasma cells, and antibodies. And so, um, that data you can see in detail at that poster. The other thing is to get more, um, to find out more information about the ongoing April SLE study, we would invite you to come see booth number 513, um, which talks about this study. It's actually my lucky number since that's my birthday, but um, <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> you don't need to send a card or anything. Um, so, so that's, uh, so that's it. So thanks for your attention, and um, we're looking forward to a few years, like Joan said, uh, with more positive trials and more positive data. Thanks. <laughs>